Hello, doggos. We'll need this, we'll need this. Right, I'll be blunt. We have had a disaster the last 24 hours and it includes flies, it includes maggots, not ideal. And you can probably guess why I've got the Crovec and we're going to try and do a lot of lambs today. So guys, hope you enjoy it. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel and most of all, hope you enjoy, but not too much because it's very frustrating. Right, not ideal I know, but yes, we've had a lamb struck by flies and it had a few maggots on it yesterday. So the race is on to get them all covered with Crovec. They should all be covered by Click Extra because it's got a 19 week coverage. It's been 16 weeks, so we've done last week, last week of April. And yes, I think all this rain has caught up with us and it's obviously washed it off a few weeks early. Not the end of the world because we caught it early and going to do all the lambs. Start off yesterday evening, we got all of the ewe lambs done, which was a group with the lamb struck. We have got a special guest on the channel. So Will is here. You've come all the way down from Middlesbrough, haven't you? Or close to Middlesbrough. I have no idea. I'm rubbish at up north geography. But he's just helped me crowvet the lambs because, unfortunately, in here we've had a lamb that has been struck by flies, which is a nightmare. They were done with click, but it's only lasted 16 weeks, which is 19 weeks. That's click extra we used before. And you say anything. So yeah, I'm dagging any with any little bits of muck on the back end. Well, Will, not me, other Will, is crowvecting them for me. He's got sheep at home, so really good hand. And we're absolutely powered through this because he was coming to visit and just have a look around, but there's always jobs to do, isn't there? Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah, it's been great, thanks. Cool, no worries. So this is the exact reason why we are doing this day. So can you see this dark patch down this long side? This is where she actually got struck yesterday and I popped some stuff on her to get rid of the maggots but I don't know if you can see it in there. No, they're probably all gone which is a good sign but I'm just going to clip the wool off to make sure all is okay. Can you just see that line there? That is actually where the maggots have gone. Thankfully, they haven't got to a skin. We caught it in time, but another probably day, like if we didn't catch yes and we did it today, the maggots would have got in there and caused a lot more damage. This bit, there's a few maggots still there. Just, you see? So this is where they were, and there's still a couple in there that I've nicked off. So it just shows. So, Will comes really close actually, you can still see a few live maggots in there. Just look at them. That's really not what you want. Cut the rest of this wool off and Will's going to sort out the rest of them with Crowbo. Then first thing this morning, we're going to get the sheep going to Ross and White and all the fat lambs done.
that is all the lambs off to Ross and White, as well as a couple of cades that are still left in there all done. We have killed like 10 million birds with one stone because I've wormed them, vitamined them, as well as obviously the crowvect and looked at the feet if any do, but to be fair, this is not really a foot problem. And we've dagged out the borderlesses too because they're all mucky, but they haven't been crowvected because they had click on very late. So they don't quite match up with the lambs when it comes to the click and crowvect routine because obviously they get done at different times due to shearing. You all right, Jace? You've been waiting patiently. You got them in well, didn't you? Were you good? Yeah, you were right. To the next group, we've got to do the fat lambs now. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. So I'd quick job done, it took about 10 minutes to do these, there is about 130 in here, about what, 18, 20 I've picked out with the green dots for, um, for breeding, the rest are all fat lambs, and the reason, talking about fat lambs that we're using Crovex and not Click again, is because withdrawal is just eight days on Crovex, whereas Click, the one we used before, which is longer acting, is up at just over 40 days. So if I'm gonna wanna send a batch of these in, what, a week, two weeks time, and you put Click on them, they won't be accepted into the food chain, whereas Crovex, it is, so that is the reason we use that. But yeah, looking really well, and it's just a little bit of peace of mind to know all the lambs are now covered against flies. Um, the click, could po it could possibly have just been a one-off with that lamb yesterday, but when it comes to maggots, I am one that doesn't want to take risks because it costs about, what, 80p to do this to every sheep. To do this, because we use Crovex, which is a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't matter. So 80p per life to crowvet them. And if we lose one sheep due to maggots, that is the cost covered for all this crowvet. So that is it. It isn't worth the risk. So if I just let these out now, Josie's done a cracking job today getting all these sheep in, haven't you, missus? I don't want them to be kept in though. Are you gonna let them out? Come on. Here, Jace, here, Jace. Good girl. One thing I didn't say earlier in the video, we have had a move around, so obviously all the fat lambs are onto a fresh bite of grass to so just keep them going that little bit. The ewe lambs are where we had them before, so they've got that nice grass. Then the ewes just moved down. The ewes just moved down from the top of the bank up there down to where the fat lambs were because there's a little bit of bite of grass left. So yeah, good job done. Josie is being Josie, not listening. Come here, miss. Josie, here, come here. Come here, come in there, up, Jace, up you get, come on, here, here, up, 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 good girl, go in there with B that's actually behaving, right, that's that done, and now we can get on with the rest of the day, we're haymaking again today, not going to be filming that because it's basically exactly the same, I'm on the little bales, but yeah, good job done, a quick, sharp video, but it's one of them. I like to show when things go wrong on the farm as well as when things go right because that is real farming at the end of the day. I don't want to paint a picture that this is really easy because things do go wrong when it comes to sheep, especially with sheep. So guys, massive thank you for watching. As I said, a lot of videos. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the merch store. It's helping me a long way at the moment. Anyone that is just getting a t-shirt or a hoodie, I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.